Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of the Millennium Racing League. Tonight we are going to be at the Charlotte Roval, but switching it up a little bit. I know Monday nights is the Sportsman Series with the trucks, but tonight and for the next two Mondays, we will be doing the All-Star Open Races where all winners from, uh, all non-winners from the last two seasons will get their chance to race their way into the All-Star. Winners are the only ones that will make it in, so the winner of the Roval next week is Bristol, winner of Bristol, and the following week at Atlanta. The winner there will all make it into the All-Star. We'll also be having a fan vote for the All-Star. A couple of guys seem to be uh in the running for the for the fan vote, but you never know with with these kind of things, but uh yeah, tonight at the Roval, a lot of a lot of interesting things can happen here. We also we obviously have Heartburn Turn, Mr. Turn One there that always seems to bite somebody. Uh another thing here is the the curbing. The the curves they they will get you loose in a heartbeat and will put you sideways. Sorry about taking a drink there. Uh I, I'm very interested to see how this goes. We have Ho Jose Protege on the pole with Elite Precision starting second right beside him. Uh, sounds like I got my buddy Cade back in the booth here with me. What what you think about tonight, Cade? Well, it's good to be back as a commentator, Dale Rowe. But um, tonight, it's going to be interesting. We got people wanting to make the big show at the All-Star Race. We got... Uh, all these young drivers are non-winners yet, because some are in Cup, some are in the Sportsman Series. So they're trying to make a name for themselves, and there ain't no better place to do it than at it, Charlotte. Might want to make sure the racetrack, yeah, Charlotte, on Chicago. <laughs> I did, and then I didn't save it, I guess. About to say, it'd be a game changer for everybody. Well, they probably like it better to be. <laughs> yeah, I would. I'd much rather have Chicago Land than than the Roval. Oh shoot, I forgot one person. Give me one second. See, Nathan is new to this because uh, the old guy that did this, he's decided to uh, do some uh, ugly actions in the Cup race, and uh, he decided to leave us for it, but. They recruited me out of retirement, and uh, we are back and ready to go. Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to this. There's a lot of uh, unknowns with these guys. You know, we've got a couple of good guys in here with Jose and Elite Precision. Uh, who else we got in here? Story Square is another good one. I mean, also guys I don't really know. Only I've only I've only seen them in uh, in a couple of the truck races. We probably should have left the lobby. <laughs> yes, uh, I'll, do that. Uh, I'll leave and come right back. This is—I don't know how Patton does this day day in and day out. You know, he 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 makes it look easy. That's for sure. Yep. No, he's a pro. I'm back. I'm live. It'll probably take a minute to load the lobby anyway. People on PS5 and PS4, so. Yeah. Let's see. Sorry about the blue screen there for a minute, folks. And yeah, they're still loading in, so you're good. We are loading back in now. It's probably going to be slow because we just left out. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Green flag here at the rope. You're going to have to take this first couple of turns because I'm still getting in. No. Well, it seems like everybody made it through turn one without killing turn one wall. So, But now yeah, they're all clean through. I don't know what turn this is, but we're going into the inside of the track. The best way to say it, I'm going to have to count the turns as we go. But heading into the tight part of the track as I call it. I can barely make the turn. 
coming back home to the oval. You loaded in, yep? Uh, it's, it says load. I hear a crowd, so I should be close. Mm -hmm. Well, Jose Protege is out to a little lead over Elite, and then Story Square. No, till the. Yeah. yeah. I think so. No, Tommy Burst. There, and he almost gives a, a lead a pack of the ages, but they make it through. I'm Head to turn. Five. Hey, there we go. At, uh, Jose Proche. Uh, looks like he's going to lead the first lap from the pole. I believe that no. that's still uh, elite right behind him. Yep, that and Tommy Boy in third. Uh, Story Square looks like to be in fourth. He's lost his position. Tommy Boy's gained the position. Oh, Tom and hit Tommy Boy. Yep, and then he gets sent it in. He always, he's all over the road. Hold together, Tom. Like, yeah, me and him have made up from our dispute in Discord chat, so I'm not sure I have a time to Tom. <laughs> I like Kane Fanatic's paint scheme back here. It looks like he's got a little uh, Michael Walter tree. Oh, yeah, it is a Mikey, Mikey throwback, baby. Oh, yeah. That's a good-looking car right there. Yeah, the WRX Mike. Like he's in about fifth or sixth place. He, uh, oh, he, joined, he joined us over from the ERA uh, a league uh, two weeks ago, I believe. And the Hold Fluff God, here. that's a good name. Nico back here. Uh, Elite's just hanging out with Jose at the moment. Then we got Story Square. Brandon, I think uh, KD Chips and Bean Dip. If I can oh, yeah, I forgot to bite Brandon Chip. <laughs> My bad, Brandon. Uh, U.S. Trek trying to get around uh, Tom. Oh, here. oh Tommy's Tom in the wall. Did Jose Protege get past for the lead? He did. Elite precision uh -oh. now taking the lead. Now let's see what Which we really didn't think about was a uh, Trek. He's actually a pretty good little road racer. That's that's what I've heard. Is is uh, he, he didn't have the, the best of qualifying runs. Started fifth, I believe. And he has a little work to do, but with no cautions, no stages, anything can happen. Yep, Jose probably did get past. Well, let's see if Elite can pull away or can Jose hang with him. For the moment, it seems like Jose's hanging with him, but I've heard I've heard some, some good things about Elite being, oh, well, Elite. <laughs> Story Square not letting these guys out of his sight either. One little slip up, mm. one little accidental curb hop to tires, you know, spin out. He's right there. Hey, make his name known when it matters. Oh, yeah. Not gonna lie, I kind of like the paint scheme. Purple and red doesn't always go together. But that, uh, that doesn't look half bad if I can say so myself. I'm on board with Kane Fanatic. Can't get enough of this. Mike, oh, Tommy about lost it at the finish line. Oh, yeah, Tommy. Oh, tie racing got loose and got the grass and the wall. Oh, Jose's hanging right with him, so. This, uh, this race for, like, 7th through ninth is pretty, pretty close right here with uh, Kane Fanatic, looks like Tom Boy and the Fluff God. Yeah, the old Fluff God, that's a good name. We got uh, we got some cheers for Jose in the chat. Jose right there, looks like he's lost a little bit of time to uh, Mr. Elite Precision, but still not too far off. I didn't dog hunt. Oh yeah, like I said, one, this track, you know, one, one little mishap and a lot of time. One little touch of the curve, one little touch of the the rumble strip coming out of the double right hander in the infield. That spins a lot of people out right there. Uh, Got to make sure you don't uh, cut the chicane to the start of the time and get a force penalty. It's very true, very true. Looks like Jose actually gained a lot of time on the elite in the last half of that lap. That's what you call a cat and mouse game. 
one person good at the other end of the track, and then another person's showing their upper hand on their part of the track. So. Yeah, it seems like Elite's really good in this section right here, going and going on to the uh, big track. Wadley through there. Yeah. Elite pulls him and then Jose makes it back up. So Jose's got some work to do on the inside part of the track. Square still still keeping his pace with these guys. Oh oh Ty racing is past uh, old Mike in the back back there. And Trex pulled away from those two. Ty racing now in fifth. There, there, do you think there's any kind of strategy, strategy to this race? You can save fuel. Take two tires. Take two tires. And black flag's on. Black, flag, black flag's gizzard. All right, all right. It's going to be interesting for them coming on the pit road, coming off turn four. It is a They're getting up to speed, y'all. Yeah. These are kind of stringing out here, you know. Not a whole lot of action happening. Oh, Tyrese gets it to the ball right there. Yeah, everybody's pretty much just got in their groove. Yeah, it looks like a leech checking out a little bit. Oh, it's Tyrese and let Mike go by. Kinda had a had a feeling that this this race would almost be you'd have two or three, you know, kind of road course specialists here. But I think the next two all-star opens will be barn burn. Oh, Story Square is called Pros Yeah, they have. It looks, it looks as though Elite's going to kind of, uh, yeah. unless a mistake happens. Oh, they, they touch. They touch. They touch. Short looks, track road course racing. It looks as though Elite, Elite kind of has the pace for oh. this race right here. Bumping and banging for a second. They want to get up to a lead. Hey, these, they want to be the guy in case he lags out of Rick's. Yeah, these, these guys are fighting for that accident that might happen. Oh, Jose oh, oh, got, got loose. Boss. Well, it's Toy Square. You never know. He uh, he surprised us a couple seasons ago with, with a good run here. Oh, Jose. Oh. Oh, they didn't get him a force penalty. It looked like he was He's digging too hard. Yeah. It looks like, like the fluff guy and got around our Michael Waltrip tribute. Top boy's closing back in on, yep. on, on the Michael tribute. Uh, King. Oh, he, oh, he sent him. him. Oh, he did. Oh, oh no, my no, lord, no, Tommy no. has just <laughs> upset Michael Lockett into the pit. <laughs> and that, sir, is what you call a uh, butt pack of dangers. A little bump and run. <laughs> uh, that's more like bump and send you to a different area, Coach. <laughs> Uh, WRX Mike was kind of in his own little bubble all by himself. No one really ahead of him. No one really behind him. Oh, Ty Racing is, is done. He's in the garage. Oh, we blew my. Well, he still had another chance. At Bristol. I think this will be a fun one. Uh, uh, it's gonna be hard with uh, no caution. Uh, rather, uh, oh man, if there's no caution in Bristol, that's gonna be <laughs> rather hectic. 
That's going to be survival of the fittest. Hey, may the best man win. I'm glad I don't have to do it. Mm-hmm. Right, you're in with you with the Daytona win, correct? Yes, sir. Right. Dale Reborn right here. Commentator Dale, known as Super Speedway Dale at certain times. Hey, the move I made to win that race, it was it looked like a Dale move, so. <laughs> uh, I still, but, still one of the highlights of my entire league career was the move I made on Cyber. Oh, yeah, the, yeah that was clash. a good move. I, I remember calling that. It was a good move. Set them up, psyched them out. It was, it was fun. Brandon also in with Daytona. I wonder uh, who pushed you to that Daytona win there, Brandon. <laughs> I don't want to call anyone out, but. You know. I think it's the guy beside me up there in the booth. I, I'm not going to say it is or it isn't, but I have a feeling that it is. <laughs> Tom Boy here pulling away from Kane Fanatics just a little bit. Okay. Oh, U.S. Trick in the infield. Oh, no. Seem to have gathered it up a little bit. And Mike Brandon, catching Brandon back up Lyon to him with that. Brandon Lyon saying it was worse, Todd. <laughs> so, I'm surprised worse, God, not reason in this. Yeah, I, I would have expected him to. But then again, he might. And maybe he's relying on that fan boat. <laughs> <laughs> he might. He just might. Folks, if you haven't seen Worst God Race, uh, I will just give you a reposition or, or a uh, image of Real Name Star. Basically, uh, moving chicane, as you can say. And basically, like a Rick Ware car out there. Y'all ever seen Jennifer Joe Cobb go through a truck field <laughs> like 30 seconds later <laughs> after the crash? Yes. <laughs> WRX, uh, Mike actually reeling U.S. Trek in here a little bit. Looks like, looks like U.S. Trek's getting a little loose on the tires. And we should be coming up on pit stop very soon. Brandon Wright uh, advocating for Jagger Tolley in the chat for the fan vote. <laughs> that would be a tough one to sell, but <laughs> advocate how you will, man. He'll need all the help he can get. Jagger, uh, <laughs> there, there's stuff to say about that kid. He's a he's a character. He's a, he's a polarizing character, as they would say. Um, he's one of those you like him or you don't. Yep, very much. He's still holding it down in second as the Elite has really put a gap on him. Actually, the Story Square. Story Square. Yep. Elite's put an even bigger gap on them. Yeah. Drax almost reeling in Jose a little bit. Yeah, he is. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what lap it is, but I think you get about eight, on pit road. eight or nine laps to a, uh, to a run. If I recall, so it should be happening any moment now. Oh, Story Square on pit road. There you go. That could be his only stop of the race, I think. Maybe. What's the fuel here? I, I think it's eight or nine laps, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, so they might have to make three separate, or two pit stops at least. Yeah, yeah, at least two. You may, you may have been able to stretch it to ten. In which case, you still would have to pit twice, but you you might get give away with. Uh, I thought it was more than that, though, but maybe I'm wrong. I, maybe I'm wrong. I, I could, I, when it comes to road races, it's not something I uh, I really look <laughs> yeah. forward or prepare for. So. Well, the thing is about the Roval, I like the track. I just never run good there. Yeah. No, it's. 
I think it's been a great addition to the in real life. Oh, it's a great, it's a great race to see in person. I'll say that. That is one. So I went to Char the Charlotte for the first time for the 600 this past year. Not the best, uh, not the best race, but uh, yeah, that's, that's just a tough race to go to. I mean, yeah. Well, it was. I mean, there's been some good 600s the past couple of years. Uh, but it was basically it was Kyle Larson's show from beginning to end. Yep. yep. We just watched 400 laps. Of Kyle Larson lead basically with one caution. Um. Uh, but I I do I would really like to knock off the road uh, one year. It was, it's not a bad race, and then especially where we sat, we sat basically uh, in uh, when they go into turn one, and then. You could see him come back up on the track. So, okay, cool. Did you see kind of pretty much see the whole infield from there? Yeah. yeah. Well, a little bit. I mean, a lot of it was covered, but you could see the majority of it. Yeah. If you set up a little higher, and I think you could have, but we had good seat nonetheless. We got to see enough action as it is. Yeah. I I thought about trying. To possibly go this year because Bristol's always on my list of tracks to go to every year at the night race. That's yeah, the my, Bristol night race is a good race to go to. That, that's my, I, I can't miss that one. But uh, we're also planning on going to the uh, Martinsville fall race. That's a good year. race to be go to. Uh, I've been, I went to that one. Uh, this will be my first time at Martinsville. Are you camping out or staying? Uh, We haven't quite figured it out yet. Marpet stops. I'm in the, in the still in the planning stages. Tom Boy's in pit road. Fluff God. Fluff God. Yep. Jose, uh, Elite, and Story Square all still still on the road. And our Mikey, Mikey guy. Oh, Kane Fanatic has Kane been up there, too. Yep. The uh, Story Square came out of the pits right behind him. Mm hmm. But yeah. Brandon saying he I'll might go to Martinsville this year. Who? Brandon Wright. B. Wright. Oh. It's Gilmore a good race. Wright. I'm excited. Uh, it's, a pretty, it's the only track in the southeast I haven't, I haven't been to. I'll be going to both Atlanta races this year and then Talladega in the fall. Oh, well, uh, no, no. I say that. Unless you want to count Homestead. Homestead's so far south, uh, I don't even know if it counts nah, as the southeast. Not really. It's, it's in Florida. Florida is his own yeah. zip code. Yep. I'm actually going to the Daytona 500 this weekend. Yeah, I need to get to that. That one, I, I went once in uh, 2016, and as a uh, Truex fan, that was a hard one to swallow right there. <laughs> From where I was sitting, we were sitting at the exit of Pit Road, and I was jumping up and down screaming because up from where we were sitting, I would have... I would have lost everything I had betting he won that race. Yeah, that was yeah, that was a good, that was a good Daytona 500 overall. Well, speaking of Daytona 500, who, who's your pick? Who's you gonna win it? Shoot, I mean, you can't really call anyone because, I mean, you got your your typical guys who are good at it, but you don't really know what to expect with this new car. That's, that's every time I see someone saying something about like, oh, well. Too bad that 42 car is going to run, you know, 36 every week. It's like, well, I mean, you don't really know that because everyone's back on a level playing field with this brand new car. You, know, who, you never know who, who might knock off a couple wins this year. Got I still think it's going to be the big teams that put in the money for it. They're going to run good, Tommy. So oh, for sure, especially after the the second after the second half of the season starts. Yeah. Brandon picked Joey Logano. I see that. That's not a bad pick. Jose Proje still on track. Elite. Coming off pit road right now. Might be the winning strategy. Story, looks like Story Square may have gained a little bit of time. Yeah, but on elite. elite had a big lead. It's going to be. For sure. going to be tough to catch him. Especially with old retired Story has now. Oh, he oh. just wrecked it. 
commentator's curse, as we it call it. Is. I was I was watching them too. Watch them spin right out. I was watching them as well. Kane Fanatic on pit road. Brandon saying it's gonna be a Ford. Yeah, uh, I don't disagree with that. I could see it. I mean, Ford's yeah. got a lot of heavy hitters as far as speedway guys go. Jose Proje yeah. coming on pit road right here. Yeah, I think the, 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 this will be the five I'd look for. Logano, of course, because he's always running good there. Denny Hamlin, because he somehow figures something, somehow just gets gets up there. I mean, avoids every wreck and puts himself in position. And then uh, you got to look at Michael Bedow last year in the winter. I would never count him out. I mean, he always runs good at Super Speedway, too. So. I would, uh, Ryan Blaney's been really good here lately. Mm-hmm. And Blaney. Brad, Kiz Brad Kizlowski. Uh, I think they're going to have to work out some uh, jitters on that six car. Oh, Jose got a black flag. Oh. Well, I go for his race. Looks like Elite is all on his own now. Yeah, Story Square yep. already spun out. Jose sp sped on the pit road. It's Elite's race to lose. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, and then uh, I think I got to go with my guy Chase because, I mean, last year he finished second, and then he pushed Byron yep. in the Daytona July race. Or August race, my bad, not July anymore. But, I mean, he runs good to the restricted plates, too. So. Yeah, I mean, everyone says plate tracks are just pure luck, but it's always the first, the same guys up, up front every race. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'll have you'll have your random people make their way to, up there, but mm -hmm. for the most part, you have your same 10 or 12 guys that are at the front of, of these races. Like Michael McDowell, I mean, he's... I don't want to say he's irrelevant anywhere else, but you can always find them at least running in the top ten. Mm -hmm. Well, then a dark horse to look out for is Cendric. I mean, oh yeah, look at him last year in the 33. He ran in the top ten and basically the whole race. I mean, with the guys up there, and I don't had wanna, a shot to win before he got wrecked. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to curse him, but you know, Corey LaJoy seems to yeah. find his way up to the front of these things. I mean, it's really anybody's race. You just got to avoid the big one and be there at the end. I'm excited. I I can't wait to see the new cars. You know, see what they hear what they sound like. Yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to, Atlanta. Yeah, I'll be at Atlanta. Oh, you live ten minutes from there, no more. Yeah, if I hit every red light. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there was one day I, I stepped out on the back porch and I could hear something going on up there. And, oh, oh, Jose sent it on. Uh, I, and got a, how did he not get a course penalty? I have penalty? no idea how he didn't get a course penalty. Brandon All Ryan, right, then. Brent B. Wright saying Dark Horse Todd Gilliland. I can see that. Yeah. Don't count out the Biff. We got the Biff yeah, back. Biffle. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of big dogs in the field. It would be interesting. I'd be interested to see. I haven't looked it up uh, if there was over 40 people on the entry list. Mm, I'm not sure either. I mean, I po saw them posted earlier today, but I know there is for trucks and Xfinity, I think. Yeah, oh, Jose got real loose right there. Jose there's always a trouble spot yeah. off that corner in that curb. Jose and WRX Mike having a pretty good little battle here. Yeah, they are. About the only entertainment we got from this race so far, because <laughs> uh, a lot of people just spread out and riding the rim. Be right, saying there's 42 cars on the entry list. That means at least two cars. Two will go home. Yep. 
be interesting. My man, it by Daytona 500. It's always the granddaddy of them all. Oh, yeah. yeah NASCAR is the only races. sport that starts yeah. with their Super Bowl. You got that in wide racing coming in. I don't I don't think they're going to be a full-time team. You got yeah. team money. No, the money team. The money team, that's it. Floyd uh, Money Mayweather. Yeah. They're, they're making the start. Is Kaz Brawl? That, that's who's driving. Yep. Yep. Hit, hit. 47 cars for Xfinity and only 38 spots. That'll be interesting. Yeah, they got to qualify. on be sure. Well, the schedule goes Wednesday, single car qualified, Thursday, the duels, and then Friday is uh, practice, and then uh, for cup and truck, I believe. Friday then, has uh, all three series on track. Oh, okay. I, 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 then, bought, uh, I bought infield passes for Friday just because. Of nice. Well, they're probably cheaper than Sundays. <laughs> so I think Sundays are sold out, but I've. There. I wasn't trying to get down there on Sunday. I, I don't really care about Luke Combs and all that stuff. Luke Combs a man, bro. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't dislike him. He's just like, he doesn't really like me, so. Hey, that sparkle your star like he does to me. No. There's, there's too many people They put on good shows, though. I bet. Did he perform laughter? Yeah, he did perform laughter. I remember that. Had a Dale jacket on, if I do recall. Uh huh. That was a protege catching U.S. Trek here. That should be a pretty good battle. It should indeed. Speaking of 47 cars and only 38 spots in Xfinity, my boy Ryan Truex trying to make uh, be trying to make it into that. Huh? Hope he makes it. I'm a big fan of him. Bro. I think I think he's better than what people give him give him opportunity. Jose Bass Trek pretty easily. Yeah, I, I think Trek. You know, he he pitted shoot four three or four laps before Jose, so yeah. he saw the writing on the walls. He didn't want to push it too far. Thank you, B. Right. Ryan Truex is. You know, he, he goes to uh, Colley. Gets Colley again, that 11 car, into the playoffs yeah. run for the first time. Gets dumped from there. He goes to Hattori Racing in that 16 truck. Gets them in their playoffs for the first time. Gets dumped from there. I, they can drive it. Yeah. Junior Motorsports. God, he had such bad luck. <laughs> he had, it was at Kansas or Kentucky. Blew up on lap one. He didn't even didn't even make a full lap. He just blew up. Every other race, someone hit him. It, it was a terrible. But the one race he he made it all the way to the finish. He got second behind Kyle Busch and Phoenix. Do nothing about it. I'm just saying bad luck. Yeah. Get out. But hopefully one. Trying to think. What are what? Our story squares a little slow. Maybe he got slammed into the brakes. Come, and come, into the yeah. Yeah. Heartburn. Yeah, elite precision. Looks like he's about to lap on. Hanging fanatic. Elite's off. He's on the zip code right now. He's, he's about to lap several people. Kane Fanatic's going to be the first thing. Yep. Poor Mikey. That is a really good paint scheme. I do like that. Who's all in the trucks this year? I mean, they're really. Much big names there for the you know the normal old veterans. Oh, uh, Keith Yep, that's a veteran move right there. Uh, 
Uh, what were you saying about truck? Uh, who's all in the trucks this year? I mean, I know, I know you still got Crafton and that crew and, and some others, but there really ain't, ain't really much many people in trucks. Is. Yeah, I know. Uh, there used to be. I know Ryan Priest is going to be making a couple starts. Yeah, he's doing that Rick Ware SSR deal. He'll be the driver of the 10 car next year. I, 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 think, so. I think he will, too. And then you got the four car just sitting and waiting for Miss Haley Dagan. Yeah, I, Never I, ha happy Harvard retires. He right, saying John Hunter dominate again. Oh, yeah, John Hunter's still it? Oh, yeah, probably. He's probably right. Let's see. But uh, talking about an Xfinity a guy coming back, old Trevor Bain. Oh, yeah. I I lost a bet on that one. I thought it was going to be his little brother, Trey Bain. Yeah. So, for a truck series, you got Haley D getting back. Yeah. Uh, John Hunter Neymar check. Uh, back to KBN. Lane Perkins. Back to Youngs. But one thing that's been interesting to me is Johnny Sauter. Not, not re signed to Ford. Yeah, he went to that, um, he drove the 47 truck, whatever team that is. I forgot the name of it. It's a, I remember it being a Christian name. Uh, Hold on, let me look it up here. I'll just pull it up on my phone here. Tyler Ingram went over to Hattori. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, Chandler Smith back at KBM. Derek Krause, same truck. There we go. We got Haley Deegan, Jordan Anderson. I wish he could go ahead and win one, dude. And he's been second, what, two, three it, years in a row now? Yeah, and he's such a nice nice guy. Yeah. Spencer Boyd's back. Zane Tanner Smith, Gray, yeah. Chandler Smith, Derek Krause, like you said, Austin Wayne Self, Grant Enfinger. He's at GMS. Old Benedetto. Oh, yeah, yeah. Matty D. Old Thad Moffat. Driving a Richard Petty throwback. Yeah, that, that truck looks good. And then Zane Smith at a uh, front row. Uh, Zane Smith gonna be one to watch out for in that 38 truck. I got a feeling. Start freezing. So I mean, there's still some big names. Ben Rhodes, Kristen Antkes, Parker Kligerman, Ty Majeski. I wish Parker Kligerman could get a good ride. He's He's a super. Yeah, there's still some names I recognize. The league's still just putting on a clinic out here in that number seventeen mm -hmm. game range. Old Jack was been uh little no way was going in the Daytona five hundred. Maybe. If he makes it away. You think old Ricky Stenhouse is gonna call the record of Daytona? <laughs> and I think I think uh, Ricky gets way too much flat for for, for his driving. I mean I get it. Yeah, he does wreck a lot. Oh. He he's gotten better. Oh, Story Square around on on the inside. Damn, go Story Square. Come on, man. But uh, you, you got to remember when he was at the uh, the seventeen camp, the, the plate tracks were really his only shot, and he was good at them. So he had to. Well, he's, he's won twice. He won Daytona in July and then won Talladega. Yeah, I was at the Talladega race. Uh, 
Uh, those were his only shots, so he, he had to be aggressive. He had to take every chance he could get. Uh, it was understandable that, you know, he caused a couple wrecks. Elite precision is running real slow. What? Might be. I wonder if he's playing with Jose Protege. Kind of reel him in a little bit. Give him a little bit of a race. Might be out of field. The fluff dog is a little slow as well. He might be out of field. Well, the race might be over. I'm just waiting for everybody to finish. Yeah, it might be. Oh. Yeah, Tommy's coming in. There we go. Yeah, I think yeah. the race is over. Yeah, race is over. Well, elite precision. Welcome to the All-Star yeah. race, man. Caught us sleeping, huh? Maybe there was. Well, it's all one set of pit stops, maybe. Maybe I was wrong about, uh... Brandon said on uh, the chat it was 15 to 17. So you might have been thinking 3%. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't put much emphasis on the road races. I just started talking about real NASCAR because it's already yeah. <laughs> And of course, oh, I was a project. You had to pass the lap. Podium was. Uh, let's, da, da, da. Let's, let's just get uh, elite precision up here, since we don't really. It's it was kind of a winner take all thing. Yeah. Uh, let's see, ad player. Get the winner. Get him this ticket punch. I do not have him. else must have invited him in I do not have elite precision that is a bummer I guess we aren't getting uh I'm getting an interview tonight <laughs> oh well I'm sorry about that folks uh other than that pretty straightforward race I mean elite he he, he wasn't on the pole but he passed a couple laps later let it from there on, didn't look back. Yeah, he made it a very boring uh, commentating race. <laughs> it was eh, there wasn't a whole lot on track to talk about, so we uh, we we did the best we can. We're we're not all professionals like uh, Patton. But, uh, I, do I mean, I don't that. think he would have had much to talk about this race. Yeah, but he, he's a little better at coming up with stuff on the fly. I, I feel like. Uh, well, I mean, we come up with talking about the real life racing. So. Yeah, we 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 found stuff. Uh, I do appreciate you coming up here and helping me out, because uh, it would have really been boring if if I'd been alone trying to talk to myself. Yeah, we'll myself. have more action talk about a Bristol next week. This For race sure. was just uh, this is the slowly but surely uh, okay appetizer you get <laughs> before the main course. Yes, sir. Once again, thank you uh, for joining me in the booth. Thank you, Be Right, and everyone else who joined us in the chat. 
Uh, we look forward to the same time next week at Bristol Motor Speedway with another All-Star Open. Another one more shot to make your way into the into the All-Star Main Event here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway, the Oval. Uh, it, was, it was fun while it lasted. Uh, can't wait to see you all next week. It's Bristol, baby!